Today I'm going to show you how to flip your character inside your 2D game if you're walking the other direction. And this is something I have shown before inside my 2D playlist, but people have been asking for me to show it separately since they can't exactly find the exact place inside that playlist. So we're going to do a separate video just showing how to do that one little part. As you can see, I have a scene in front of me. I do already have a player character as well as a ground for him to walk on. Uh, if you're here already wanting to learn how to flip your character, you probably already have a character controller set up inside your game. If I were to play this, you can actually see that he can walk left and right. But he's not flipping. By the way, if you get a low frame rate once you're playing your game, it's because there's a lot of stuff showing inside your inspector and for some reason, sometimes Unity can't handle that. So if you click on, let's say, your scene, it gets much smoother. So if you have issues with your performance inside the inspector, just know that it's because there's a bunch of stuff inside the inspector. Inside the game view is what I meant to say. With that said, Let's go ahead and go inside our script. As you can see, I have some very basic code. I simply grabbed my rigid body from a player. I went ahead and created a input for the horizontal as well as the vertical, even though we're not using it for anything because we're just moving, we're not jumping. I also added a speed to my player so we can actually run a certain speed. And inside the stripe method, I just simply set the rigid body equal to the actual rigid body component on my player. And then inside fixed update, I just simply went ahead and did an if check to say, okay, if the player is moving horizontally, which is going to give us a minus one for going left or plus one for going right, then I want to add a force onto my player that moves him if I click left or right. And that's how we're moving inside the game right now. One way I've seen people do it, and actually just to show the basic concept of how we flip our player, I'm gonna go down. It could be inside fixed update. It could also be inside update. And I'm going to go ahead and do a check with my input horizontal. So if I were to say, well, we have a if statement and I check if we have any sort of movement that is greater than zero, it means that we're walking to the right side. So what I want to do is I want to set the transform of my player because you can actually see if I go inside the inspector, click on my player, set the scale to minus one he actually flips. So now he's looking to the left side. Again, if we set it back to one, he flips over. So basically we just need to change the scale of our player when we walk to the left side. So going back inside my code, this time I'm actually walking right. So what I'll have to do is basically say I have my game object dot transform dot local scale, which is how we set the scale for our player. Then I'm going to set it equal to new vector three. And inside here, we want to set the scale to one, one and one, because that is the proper or at least the current scaling of our player. So if we were to copy this entire thing, paste it down, and instead we're going to check if it's lesser than zero, I'm going to set it to minus one. Again, this is just for you to grasp the basic concept because there is actually something that might not be the best thing to do here, but we'll get to another example on how to do this. So what I can do now is I can play my game and then when I walk to left and right, you can see that it flips. So this is great. We actually have this movement going. I can actually make it smoother by clicking here. Um, the only sort of issue that some people might point out for you is that now every single time I hold down either the left or the right movement button, it is going to set my game object equal to this vector here constantly, which might, you know, end up just sort of <laughs> decreasing performance in a certain way. So what I want to do is I want to run a check to see if I'm already flipped to the left side if I'm walking left, because I don't want to repeatedly every single frame update my character's transform you know, this, the scaling of the character because that's going to mess it up. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go to the very top here. I'm going to create a property and I'm going to call it a Boolean. And then we can just call this something like flipped or facing right or something. I'm just going to go ahead and call it facing right because that might actually make more sense. I'm going to set it equal to true because we are in fact facing right once we load in the game for the first time. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go down and create a new method that is going to control the flipping of the character and if the code needs to run, if I'm actually already flipped or not. So I'm going to create a void flip. 
Now, we can't just grab what we did up here and just paste it in because we actually need to know what the current scale is of the character when it comes to the x-axis uh, if we have to check if he's flipped or not. So we need to go inside the flip and we want to create a vector 3. Then we want to set it equal to something like current scale. Set it equal to the current scaling of the player. So we're going to get the game object dot transform dot local scale and then I want to take the x axis because the, the x scaling is the only thing we're interested in and we want to change it to the opposite so the way we can do that is going down to the next line and we say current scale dot x and then we set it equal to something else so we can actually say we want to multiply equal to minus one because that way if it's a positive you know if the scaling currently for the x axis is is one meaning that we're facing right then it's going to turn into minus one. But if it's minus one, then minus one times minus one is going to be equal to one. So it's going to flip the other way. Uh, so with that, we're just going to set the current game object scaling. Just going to grab it, current scale, and set it equal to what we have currently set to current scale. But we do also need to update whether or not we're facing left or right. So the Boolean that we have up here called facing right is going to get updated beneath here. So we're going to say facing right is going to be equal to the opposite of what it is right now. So by saying that facing right is equal to exclamation mark facing right, we're just saying that it's going to be equal to the opposite of what it is right now. So if it's true, it's going to turn into false. If it's false, it's going to turn into true. So now what I want to do is I want to go in and I want to copy my function. I want to go up and say that I want to instead of all of this stuff that we did up here, I just want to use the function, which like I said, is just going to flip our character. I'm going to paste that in and paste it in. And what we also want to do is we want to go inside the if statement and check for the Boolean that we set up here, because there's a reason behind creating that Boolean in the first place. So I want to check if we are, I want to check if we're walking to the right side, but we're facing the left side, because if we're doing that, it's wrong and we want to flip the character. So I'm going to go in here and say we want to check if we're walking to the right and if we're also facing the left. Because if that is the case, then it's wrong and we want to flip the character. So we're running this method in here. Uh, down here, I want to check for the opposite. So if I'm facing, if I'm walking to the left, but I'm facing the right, then we want to flip it. So this should be if we're facing the right side. So with this here, we can go back inside our editor, play the game, and as you'll see, we flip again. Only this time, we're not constantly updating the scaling of the player every single frame inside the game. So this is much more optimal when it comes to flipping your character. Um, the reason I wanted to do this little tutorial here is also to point out the fact that I've seen some people, they show how to just update the scaling constantly inside the actual uh, input check, which like I said, it's not the most optimal thing to do. It works. And if you have a not so performing game in your hands right now, then of course you could do that. It's just a better way to do it by using a method here and then checking if you have your character flipped already. And if that's the case, then don't run the code again. So with that said, that's how you flip a character. I hope you enjoyed this little video and I'll see you next time.